15 years ago feels like a dream now. Like it was an eternity away. You might never have to use those again. Now, wouldn't that be amazing? The Queen of Keves, though, she's still not free. What? You think our fight's still not over? Can't things stay like this? The soldiers, they're still fighting. Right at this moment. Personally, if things could just stay this way, I'd be happy. You serious? If Granddad could hear you, he'd lay you out flat. Yeah, I know what he'd say. The soldiers are the roots from which we grew. But still, we are who we are, right? And them and the Mobius, they're a whole different story. No reason we can't coexist. Nah, don't give me that. Come on. There's no need to fight if we just stay out of each other's way. It's worked out fine for the past 15 years. I guess for you, it's all or nothing, huh? Huh? Those children are everything to me, you know? What choice have I got? Huh. Leave it to Uncle Rex. I'll throw my finger off three. Huh. You okay? Yeah. Can you stand? <sighs> Nico, ready to fight? <sighs> you too, Glim. Hop, hop. Huh? There'll be time for thinking later. For now, it's down to brass tacks. for you, kiddo. Me? Oi, who are you calling kiddo? You take out the Mobius. All in sync! What? In sync? Let's go! Hey! The hell? He gave us a hard time. Nice timing there, Rex. Thanks for that. 
Everyone knows the real hero steps up in the third act. <sighs> Still, something's off here. Hmm. Double the flame clock. But no soldiers inside. There has to be more to it, boss. I've heard a rumor about how one of the Mobius likes to create all kinds of experimental flame clocks. Blinker, mind looking into that for me? I can do that. I'll dispatch a platoon. We'll see if they can get a handle on it. Lovely. All right, so... Who's this, then? City refugee, it seems. Well, that explains the Ouroboros power. And this soldier? Who released him? <sighs> My day keeps getting better. To business, tell me, Shulk. How'd Mobius get the jump on you? Because of her. We'd meant to protect her, but she went and gave away our position. Ugh. Hang on. You wanted to get back to your friends, huh? Ugh. Even if it meant getting us all killed. Uh, no! Don't try to play the innocent with me. <sighs> You were well aware of the consequences. But you decided to ignore that inconvenient fact. Enough. Stop! Hmm? I am not letting the enemy get into my head! Manners! I didn't ask for any of this! It was almost time for my homecoming! My comrades and I... We made it all this way! I fought! So snuffing hard! <laughs> Listen, two things. First of all, that there was your enemy. And second, let it go. Your friends are gone. So... What's the plan from here, then? It's pretty clear you're not our enemies from the way stuff's panning out, but... It's all a bit... eh, Right? Don't give me that. Obviously, we're teaming up. Hey, matey? Dylan! Mate! You were alive! <laughs> that was about my reaction, too. Glad you're still with us, Matt. I'll set us up some tents. We can all debrief each other there. Ah, oh, now we're talking. I haven't slept under shelter for yonks. First light, we'll make a start for our base. If it's all right with you, I'd feel a lot safer if we traveled together. I don't really mind. What do you think? <clears throat> all right then. Great to hear. So, what's this base thing? And who are you guys? Feeling kind of lost here. I'll tell you all about it on the way. It's not like we're in any rush. Right. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Fine then. Great. Ah, oh, hey, so about these Liberators, what do you guys even do? The Liberators are a resistance faction that Rex and I founded to fight back against Mobius. So you've been fighting them too? Yeah. Our goal is to free the world, to return it to how it's supposed to be. But right now, we have another immediate objective. What's that then? There are many people, ones from the city like you and Dylan, 
or soldiers freed from the clocks. We rescue them, keep them from harm. Working towards that is currently the Liberator's primary concern. <laughs> At its founding, we only had a scant few members in addition to Rex and myself. But in time, the people we helped offered us their help in return, and our numbers have swelled considerably. Oh, but you'll see soon enough. There's our temporary camp now. Well, we made it. We should be safe here for the time being. You can use that tent over there. We've had it set up especially for you. Thank you. We'll do just that. Phew! Be a nice change to finally get to Kip under a roof. <sighs> mm. Look, everyone here knows what's what. Nobody's gonna bully you or anything. Gee, thanks. Very reassuring. Not. All right, break it up now. How about we grab a bite and unwind, eh? Don't need you running around hangry. I'm not really hungry. Uh. Try to get some rest. We'll take the guard shifts. We'll be departing for base in the morning. Don't go the whole night without sleep. Noted. All right, then. We'll see you later. That was harsh, boss. Hmm? You didn't have to talk to her like that. Not cool. Tell me something I don't know. <sighs> you don't want her with us, is that it? I'm sure she'd see sense if you just gave her a chance. What's the problem? Mm. Is it because it feels too close to home? You always have to be right on the mark. Very well spotted, though, Linka. I knew it the moment I saw her. She looks like them, exactly. I know, right? Someday I knew it'd happen, but not exactly the best timing, is it? It's the same deal with him, you know. What, Shulk? Really? Really, really. Panacea said she had a hunch. Strike me. <sighs> I guess we're bound by fate. Like it was meant to be. Nice gear you've got. <gasps> The joints move without a hitch. And listen to the power of that motor. It's just a tool for destruction, death. Nothing to be praised. Good point. Oh. Whoa. That's an Equity's pulse driver assembly. No wonder it's so pleasing to the ear and melded with a cylinder. Perfect soldering technique. Hey, stop that. Did you make it yourself? Uh, yeah, well... I've always liked tinkering with machines as well. I can't help myself. Um, earlier... Hmm? You tried to help us, right? Using this. Oh. A tool is merely a tool. It does as the user chooses. Wouldn't you agree? Be it to kill others, or to help them. Your arm? A war wound, from way back when. Then Riku here made me this one, but... But! What, please? Manner of expression seem pointed. I'm not saying it's bad. It's not bad at all. Just a little squeaky. That's same as saying bad. Riku had to make from hodgepodge material. Do not nitpick. <clears throat> hey, um, would you mind if I take a look? Thought so. Here. 
here, you're missing a shim between these bits. That'll be why it creaks. Hang on, I should have one here somewhere. Again. Not as if there's anywhere left to run. I, uh... I think it was good. What happened? Huh? Fighting against you. I don't understand. If we hadn't fought, we wouldn't be here now, like this. Here isn't exactly a sparking picnic. People would bully me. What? Because I can't summon a blade. It makes me kind of useless. Hmm. But all those bullies, they're dead now. Yeah, well, good for you. But that's a weight off you. Someone like me. How'd I survive? Nobody else did. But now, I can make something of myself. That's how it feels. Honestly, just knowing who I'm meant to be fighting, that's the biggest thing of all. Nicole. Another thing I'm happy about. Hmm? Back then, I'm glad I didn't have to kill you. You have got to be joking. A little squirt like you can never take me down. <laughs> that day, we became friends. Uh, you're an idiot. Wow. Oi, oi. Lovely morning today. Perfect weather. Wrong. This cloud cover practically guarantees rain. Morning, everyone. Hello? Whoa! Did I just hear a hello from you? What next? A rain of brogs? Plain rain's bad enough. Damn, if I didn't know better, I'd think you were warming up to me. <sighs> I was forgetting the real idiot among us. There you go. It's cool. This is progress. Morning, all. Feeling refreshed and ready to take on the world? Yeah, thanks to you guys. Haven't slept this well in ages. Don't mention it. It's going to be quite a trek to our base, though. Yeah, speaking of... Where is this base of yours, exactly? Once we climb that cliff and follow the road, you'll be able to see for yourself. Ha, oh, sweet! Can't wait to see what it's like. How about you, Glimmer? Not interested. Ah, uh, <laughs> still being a sulk, eh? I'm a little curious, I think. Yeah, at a boy, Nicole! See that, Glimmer? You could stand to learn from this one. Can someone shut this guy up? He'll grow on you. We have some refugees from the city, by the way, back at base. You should let them know you're fine once we've arrived. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. Yeah, I'll be sure to do that. Thanks. All right, we're all done with the banter. This road's not gonna walk itself. Yeah, let's make tracks.
Mmm, you smell nice. I guess I won't see you for a while. Come and visit. Yeah, I will, I promise. I want to hear you play again. With that old piano, Tricky. Then bring one with you. Uh... We'll all miss you guys. It's been a long time coming. Place is full up. Don't forget to call us, soon as you arrive. Yeah. A second city. We'll make it greater than you can ever imagine. Them's fighting words. <laughs> This it? Yes. The Liberator's base of operations. All the city survivors we find, we keep safe here. Well then, once again, welcome to our headquarters, to Colony 9. Huh? Colony 9? Like the one from Kevis? No, not that one. This is the original Colony 9. Though I guess that won't mean anything to you one way or another. Huh? I don't get it. Well, anyway, point is, it's not like a Kevesi or Agnian colony. That's all you need to know right now. Uh, okay. I'll go on ahead to the command center and have your quarters prepared, if you'll excuse me. Right. See you around then, Matthew. Let's have a proper catch-up once things are settled down a bit. Will do. Cheers. Right, sure. Let's see how the gang's doing. We can give you a little tour along the way. Yes, that's a good idea. Panacea, can I ask you to take point? Right, you heard the man. Try to keep up. Most of our liberated troops live here, in Colony 9. It isn't luxurious, not by any stretch of the imagination, but thanks to our tight-knit community, we're able to eke out something of a living here. This network of mutual aid and support is the only proof you need to tell you the society's functioning. And there's the colony's central square. The big ether light is a landmark. The 
plaza's kind of the heart of Colony 9. Anything you're looking for, you can more or less find it here, be it extra supplies or a quick bite to eat. Wow, it's pretty bustling. Reminds me of the city. Well then, would you like to take a little look around? Is that okay? We're not in a hurry or anything. You go and have your stroll. I'll be waiting for you over there, past the plaza. Speak to me when you're done browsing. Shulk. Yeah. This house is where a friend of mine used to live once. He taught me a great many things. From swordsmanship to life advice. Truly, he was incredible. Wow. This the mentor you used to tell me about. I wish I'd gotten to meet him as well. Wait, was it your mentor or your brother-in-law? Ah, uh, no, he was... Well, I mean, yes, I suppose, but... Huh? The city folks I saw actually look pretty happy to be here, huh? It's good to see. They're our fellow liberators now, after all. It's only natural we'd support one another. Ah, well, thanks for that. I mean it, thank you. Hey, having more helping hands is pretty welcome from our side, too. Hey, I'm seeing these tents all over the place. You've got some proper buildings here. Wouldn't it make more sense to live inside those? You'd think, but they're falling apart inside. We've got a policy to avoid living somewhere that might cave in on you. Hmm. Still, feels like a waste. Oh, that contraption. It's a gem crafting furnace. Pretty antique one. Yeah, it's been out of commission for ages. At this point, it's pretty much just scrap. Oh, I see. Right, this is where I leave you. This is the command center. It's where the captains convene, where we plan our strategies and manage affairs. The nerve center of the liberators, you could say. Well met, everyone. I'm happy to inform you that quarters have been arranged for Matthew and his associates. Great. Cheers for that. Allow me to show you the way. Thanks. That'd be great. What? Never seen a field? No. Those guys, they're Cavessi and Agnian soldiers, aren't they? They were. Teacher and the others freed them. died in combat. All the husks around here are whipped thin. You think they starved? Maybe. With this much wildlife around, though? Most things around these parts are poisonous. Not really edible. Well, there's castle supplies. Don't they get those? 
You think they got raided, maybe? Doubt it. Enemies would have mopped them up. No sign of blade wounds. Ah. For whatever reason, intentional or not, these people were abandoned. Local fauna aside, with this much fresh water, they could have easily farmed. There's so many ways they could have kept themselves alive. Thing is, though, fighting's all these guys know. Yeah, but... You know they're not like us. Nobody taught them what could be. <sighs> it's not as simple as plant some seeds, wait for the harvest. We're teaching them the ins and outs, as you can see. We're showing them there's more to life than battle. You didn't do this in the city. No. We did do that stuff. We did, but... Hmm? The tents we've set up for you are further up along this road. So thoughts, impressions? I'm liking the atmosphere. Just right for settling down. There's so many people, and it's so busy. It's worlds different from our colonies. For now, anyway, we'll be glad of your hospitality. Is that right? And these will be your tents. Feel free to use all the facilities here at your leisure. We'll make the most of it. Thanks for everything. It's all right. All in a day's work. All right, then. It's a bit early to turn in still. So what say we have a little nose around? Ah, that reminds me. Riku said he had some business with you. Would you mind stopping by his place later? Huh? Who's Riku again? Oh, right. You've not met him yet, Matthew. He's a Nopon mechanic working with us Liberators. Quite a skilled one at that. Huh, if you say so. So, where's he at? I told you before about the man who was like a mentor to me, who had a home here. Riku's commandeered it lately. I hear he wants to establish his own workshop there. A workshop? Oh, that tickled your fancy, did it, Nicole? Yeah, I really want to check out his setup. Can we go now? <laughs> sure thing, kid. Let's go and say hi before we bunk down. This takes me back. I've always liked coming here. Whenever I had to do some serious thinking. I can see this being a good place to focus. It's quiet, no people around. Well, in my case, I'd often get so deep in thought, I'd forget to eat all day long. That's unexpected. You seem very together, Sean. Ha, huh. if that is so, the credit goes to someone I've known all my life who'd bring me food here. She supported me through thick and thin. It's thanks to her I'm here today at all. That goes for you, too. What was that? Hey, Nicole. Once things have settled down, let's come here again and talk properly. We can have sandwiches together, ones with special herbs and spices, eh? Yes, sure. That sounds nice. Righty-ho, 
I'll go have a chat with Dylan. I want to ask how all the city folk have been getting on. Got any plans yourselves? I think I'll pay a visit to the command center. I want to see what Shulk's up to. And I'll, um, I don't know. What should I do? If you're bored, you can come with me. I need to pick up a few things at the market. Yeah, um, okay. Right then, catch you in a bit. Right. So you haven't seen Niel? I'm really sorry, Matthew. It was hard enough for the six of us to escape. But hey, it wasn't just our group. I heard Naomi's group made it out as well. There's a chance she's with them. Naomi? It seems Caleb tried to stop them, but they weren't able to hear him. We think they were headed towards Fornis. Except he said he was too far away to see who was actually with her. Right. This is Niel, though. Bet she's with him. A-OK. -okay. She's like you, mate. Hard as nails and twice as tough. Uh-huh. You've got it so much easier, you know. At least yours is well behaved. You're jealous? That's a surprise. That's not what I mean. Nothing about this is easy. There's this awkward distance between us. I'm just lucky that things panned out this way. Is that right? It's all about how to handle things in the moment. That's the crux of it. Or at least I think so. Hmm. You were independent from a young age, right? Yeah, well, apart from Grant sticking to me like glue but I supported myself. That explains it then. The way you think of her, as being somehow different from you. The paths you've walked are too unfamiliar. No? Mm. Try talking to her again, but be yourself. Actually, mm? perhaps she'll be the one who comes to you. Hey, Shulk and Rex! The search party's returned! <laughs> You've not found a single person? There were clear signs of combat, that's it. But, as I've informed you, we've not been able to confirm any survivors. There were no husks present either. So I'd expect it to have been monsters. But even then, can't see the whole group crook in it. And the guy's unit should have been the cream of the crop. Hmm. Any case, we brought back anything we could find on the scene. Most objects belong to the unit, but there were also a few oddities. Namely? According to Charon, things that may have potentially belonged to city refugees. Oh. Oh. I know this! Oi! Where'd you find this? This belonged to Niel. Tell me! L like I said, the location of the SOS. Is that true? You better not be lying. Matthew! It is, I'm not. It was with everything else on the ground by a tree. Oh, no. Niel. <sighs> Matthew, this Na'el, she a relative of yours? She's my little sister. I've been looking for her for so long. Right. Hey, Linka, where was that emergency transmission coming from? According to the search team, somewhere in the vicinity of Ragwell Lake.
Oi, stop right there. You're not seriously planning to head out there alone? Uh, yeah. This is my problem. Nobody else's. I've got to see it for myself. Regwell Lake is quite a distance from here. I'd strongly recommend that you at least take some kind of escort. You don't get it. I finally have a lead. If whoever attacked the search party is still there, all the more reason for me to go and rescue her. All right, all right. Keep your shorts on. Nobody's telling you no here. We were planning to head there as well, in fact. A whole search party taken out is no trivial matter. Certainly one way to travel. Hey, these are rare. What is this place? Looks older than Colony 9 by far. To be honest with you, it's a super ancient ruin. And when I say super, I mean ultra mega ancient. Yeah? Buildings made of stone. That's pretty primitive, all right. Hey now, it's primitive buildings like these that are still standing today. Admittedly, there's not as much left standing as when I saw it the last time, but still, you can feel the magnificent weight of history, right? Huh, suppose? Wow, tough crowd. Hmm, I guess it figures. No traces of Ouroboros power being used. Huh. Plenty of footprints, though. Although, they seem to all be from search party boots. Nothing else at all. Gotta be some trace of the refugees. Oh, there's something all right. But it's weird. Weird how? There are tracks leading up to here, but nothing to suggest that anyone left. So, do we think they were done in? <laughs> oh, sorry. No, no. 
<laughs> See, what did I tell you? I was sure they'd show up. Be sure to strip their corpses. We'll be eating fine this week. Why are we bringing those people with us? <sighs> oh. <sighs> Drop it, Nail. Matthew! You know why, surely. Yeah, but... Some of our folk were soldiers. Spare a thought for them, yeah? Makes no sense. Nail. Haven't we done enough? We could have just kept to ourselves, but we're still doing this, and now Kyra's dead. <sighs> Niall, you here? Why in the dark? Go away. With or without Mobius, nothing will change. In the end, people always kill people. Those soldiers were still part of the cycle. I bet they were controlled. Doubt it. No red irises. They killed Kyra just to add on a measly few extra days. Come on. That's worst case. Matthew. Always in fantasy land. What? You can't keep every bloody person happy. How can you not understand it's impossible? The only true end is the moment you give up. Isn't that what Grandad taught us? Then show me already! This world of peace where nobody has to die. Make it come true. You think you could do that, do you? You think you've got what it takes? I... I... <sighs> well, I don't. I'm barely holding on. You hear me? We can't yet be sure that she's dead. Even the footprints. The search party's little skirmish could be wholly unrelated to this. In my head, I get it, yeah. Except, in my heart of hearts, I bloody hate this. You hate what? These stupid bodies we have. If only we turned into husks, the same way that soldiers do. But no, we vanish without a trace. No evidence, nothing. I understand your unease. But keep heart. I know, I know. You fellas. Can I help you? Food's up. Saved you some. Come on. Everyone's having a blast. I'm not depressed or anything. Oh, I know you're not. That's not what I was implying. 
We're having a little shindig. Matthew, I don't suppose you'd mind telling us about your sister. What happened to Niall and so on? Oh. I wouldn't want to force you. No. It's fine. All right. It happened on the day the city fell. I came to, I was all cuts and bruises. Back then, A was the one that nursed me back to life. Found me while traveling, apparently by pure chance. I see. That's why. It's not just that. It's him too. The Mobius bastard. I'll wring his neck with my bare hands. I swear it. You've hardly changed, to my eyes. You're saying I'm like him. No need to throw it in my face. <laughs> so why do you look like that? Logos was the male persona, and Numa the female one. Ontos was meant to stand somewhere between, forming the Trinity Processor. It all adds up to me. I see. Does Matthew know? So about you and Alpha, what happened? How did you split apart? It was unforeseen. For that Mobius and man to have that kind of power. To my fortune, it unshackled me from the chains of Ontos. Chains? As you may know, and this is surely evident to you, Shulk, but Origin... It's based upon the architecture of Ontos's core. I heard about that from Melia. A gift from Alvis, she called it. Ontos was the Arbiter. And thus, was predicated on the existence, or perhaps the opinions, of the others, Logos and Numa. In short, without the two of them present, Ontos was just a machine. My original, he was shaped by Klaus and shouldered the man's regret as he was born into that world. Hence, he was able to help you. But he is no longer. The me that has left is just a machine, and machines know no sympathy. That's why he took steps to erase this world. To create a new future in its place. Debris of the past and the noise that permeates the present. Your lives are to him redundant. His conclusion that only new life, that of the people of the city, ought to be preserved. Ontos proclaimed himself Alpha and chose to leave for a new world shepherding the citizens along with him, while erasing the old world in his wake. 
However, N's intrusion caused something of a setback. That is not all it did. In any case, I was able to separate from Alpha. The memories of traveling with you, and all other faint recollections, they composed me. Hmm. You could call me his conscience. So, here's what this conscience or whatever is saying, then. There's no life that deserves to be left behind. All life is worth saving, more or less. Yes, that's the gist of it. I suspect that if Logos or Numa were here now, they would surely say the same thing. Yeah, I bet. So why tag along with the kid? You've good reason, don't you? For Alpha to command some form of power in this world, he needs a body to inhabit. Yes, like how Zamza once lived in you, and Matthew's sister. What's this? This wind! Over by the lake! I've come to fetch you, Matthew. <gasps> come. It's time to go.